Hey, it's Mr. Aiden, and this is 8th Grade Science, and we're going to be doing a video on the cell and its chemical compounds, and then after the video, you're going to be going to MrAiden.com and finishing up a self-assessment on this video. So, let's get started. Uh, we're going to start with the cell theory. The cell theory is something that we can observe, something that we can experiment, and something that we know about cells. And it has three postulates. One is that all living things are composed of cells. It's true. Uh, that cells are the basic units of structure and function of living things, and then all cells are produced from other cells. So right here in a scientifically proven cell theory, we have Darwinian evolution getting cut down right at its knees. And so let's take a look at our two different types of cells. Um, we have one type of cell that you have, which is called an animal cell. And animal cells, you can see, we have, it's like a little, little factory inside of that animal cell, inside of each cell that you have inside of you. You can see we have a nucleus. A nucleus is the information center of the cell. It tells all, it has information, genetic information that gives all the instructions to all the different organelles of the cell. We have the lysosomes, which is over here. They're kind of the cleanup. They're kind of the cleanup crew. They clean up all, all the nasty stuff of the cell. We have uh, the Golgi body right here, this funky looking purple thing right here is the Golgi body and the Golgi body kind of packages proteins and uh, it's, it's kind of the male center of the cell right here. We have the endoplasmic reticulum which is right next to the nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, it carries proteins and other materials from one part of the cell to the other. We have the ribosomes, uh, these little, these little tiny little things, uh, these little what looks like specks inside of the animal cell is ribosomes, and ribosomes are very, very, very important. Uh, they end up, uh, they're floating in the cytoplasm, and they're making proteins, making proteins. Uh, of course, we have the the plasma membrane, which is that outside of that cell, which allows for things to come in and things to come out. And then, of course, we have this crazy looking yellow and blue thing called the mitochondria and the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell that that's where you have your chemical reactions going on that powers the cell and what we call cellular respiration so let's go to a plant cell a plant cell looks uh, very similar in some respects to an animal cell but then there's some drastic differences of course there's still a nucleus that information center of the cell you still have the, the endoplasmic reticulum uh, which is the right next to the nucleus right there. You still have the Golgi body, which packages, and, and it's the male center. Uh, we still have little, little, tiny, tiny, tiny ribosomes. Where are the, those ribosomes? They're right over here. Uh, you still have a plasma membrane, which is uh, can let things in and out of the cell. You still have mitochondria. Uh, you can see right here the powerhouses of the cell but then you also have two uh, three main differences uh, one is the chloroplast which acts like solar panels which brings in the energy from the sun in order to do uh, photosynthesis you have the cell wall which is this hard outside cell wall right here and you have this huge vacuole which uh, is a water-filled sac storage area of the plant cell um, next thing we're going to go through is macromolecules. Big molecules, there's four main macromolecules that are in your body. And these macromolecules are found within the cell and they are amazing, amazing molecules that do everything in the cell. So let's get to it. We have proteins. Proteins are the machines of the cell. Proteins are made up of monomers called amino acids. And all amino acids look the same. They all have a NH2 group an amine group. They have a COOH group, that's a carboxylic acid. They, they have a hydrogen, and then they have different representative uh, molecules or atoms coming off the end, and that gives us all your different kinds of amino acids. There's about 20 amino acids uh, that make up uh, all the amino acids in your body, and those amino acids can bond together in a dimer or two molecules in what we call a dipeptide, a dipeptide bond, or a di dipeptide which has two of those amino acids, and those amino acids, which are the building blocks of life, ended up end up uh, becoming a polymer, 50 or more, and we call that a protein and the proteins are the machines of the cell they do everything in your cell from hemoglobin to your hair hair cells to 
uh, enzymes to all kinds of amazing, amazing structures. Uh, the next macromolecule we have is carbohydrates, and they provide energy for the cell. You're talking about sugars and starches, and, and these are the, they, they give the energy for the cell. They're a high potential energy molecule. And so there's mo monomers such as glucose and fructose and, um, and galactose and all these different um, monomers that end up making up what we call carbohydrates. And these carbohydrates end up becoming dimers in what's called a, they go from a monosaccharide to a disaccharide. So glucose would be a monosaccharide, fructose would be a monosaccharide, and they bond together to make sucrose, which is a disaccharide. And you're talking about all of your, all of your energy producing molecules right here. Uh, the next is lipids. Lipids are otherwise known as fats. They're the energy storage of the cell, long-term energy sources. They're nonpolar. They're insoluble in water. They're, uh, the most famous of all the lipids are the triglycerides, which are made from glycerol and three fatty acids, and they make a triglyceride. They don't dissolve in water, and that's why you can see things like butters and oils. Uh, those are lipids that obviously do not dissolve in water. They're nonpolar, and so they do not react with the hydrogen bonding interactions of the water. And so butters are called saturated fats, and oils and uh, more healthy ones are called unsaturated fats, and those are lipids. And last but not least, we have nucleic acids. Nucleic acids store and transmit information of the cell. And we have the monomer is called nucleotides, nucleotides, and these what we call nucleic acids. And obviously, not, our rungs are made up of some different nucleobases, things such as cytosine and guanine, uh, adenine and thymine. And of course, C only interacts with G, and A only interacts with T. And our two main types of nucleic acids is RNA and DNA, ribonucleic acid and deoxyribonucleic acid. So hopefully that helped. This was the cell and its chemical compounds. Don't forget to go and do that self-assessment. And I'll see you in the next video. See you, eighth grade. Bye.